My name is... Alexandra Catfish. And I'm tired of being alone. Uh, hello, I'm Jacob Briggs, and I'm here to talk about uh, what happened in the trailer and the choices I made. Uh, you'll have to excuse my voice right now. I woke up sick today, so I'm a little uh, trying to talk quieter because my throat hurts. Um, so, uh, the basic story of my the game that I'm making. It's been one that I've wanted to make for a while, and it's kind of the one I'm, I'm thinking I might want to do for my SIP if it works, um, but essentially it follows the story of a girl, uh, Alexandra, and most of her life she's been alone and had no one there for her and she gets so sick and tired of it that she throws herself into a lake in an attempt to commit suicide and the game follows her story of learning um why she shouldn't have made that choice and how it would have affected the people around her um the people that are still there and the people that have since left her life if she hadn't been there at all and she kind of goes on this journey of realizing that she does have a purpose even though she didn't think that she did um the storyboard i can sure i can put it up like right here or something um it's pretty basic it just has some basic paint pictures that kind of show and it kind of like goes over what each of the each of the like little parts of it was um so when it comes about um the camera stuff it didn't turn out exactly as I was planning it to in the first place um it was the my original idea was to have someone who wanted to do art for the game draw some pictures and use that instead of a real person to um, more show the tone of the game and the art style that would be used in the game for like portraits and stuff but with the game jam this weekend uh, that didn't end up working out so instead I asked a friend who could fit the kind of somber and more sad tone uh, with images so it's not exactly the um, the sort of imagery I wanted to get across but um, it essentially came out well the ideas were the same it's just the way that they were portrayed as a person instead of a picture were different um, so, um, with the angles, there's only one I tried to do something super weird with, and it's, it shows, like, a really small picture of a picture that grows in size later, and that's, was kind of, it would have worked better if it was the, the picture, the, the drawing, but, um, that was supposed to kind of show how little she thinks she is compared to and then it shows it in like its full size which is you know who she actually is um there's not really any camera movements because it was going to be pictures the only thing i could think of well this is not a camera movement it's a character movement in my little snippet of the game um so dialogue I just asked my, my same friend who 
took the pictures, so I just record herself talking uh, through her microphone. And she sent it to me, and I just cut it up how I needed it and put it in. And I didn't make any sound effects because um, we don't have the stuff around the house to make the sound effects that I was planning to. And I wasn't, well, except for a pool, but I wasn't going to have someone jump into the pool in the cold weather to get the splash sound. <laughs> um, and um, editing software, I used something called hit film it's just like a simple editing software that lets you do like camera or like move a picture resize it change the like audio settings and stuff it's not anything too special and it's completely free so it's just what i use to edit videos whenever i have to um and that's all i really have to say um thank you